I think the biggest lesson, you know, we we came here to learn is self love and to love ourselves and to be okay with ourselves and and in doing that then we can start really loving and accepting each other. One of the most profound ways I've been able to find that in my life is with Laramie is how to really truly love myself and then from that space be able to serve others. The challenge is there's not very much money or any money in a lot of these practices therefore it's not something that's presented to the public it's not something that's advertised um, you know you don't see commercials about energy healing right <laughs> because right, right, right. who's going to promote that you, there's no one you know and i think that was my biggest challenge like, so that's how i i kind of walked into the whole because that's what my foundation is my foundation is energy work my foundation is reiki okay. so um so before i even got into the horses or the animal communication or anything like that I um, I so-called thought I was successful. Like I had a great business. I had like the, the house, the everything on the outside, the car I wanted, right. all you that kind stuff. of. I had the stuff exactly. Right. But inside, I was internally just screaming. Like it was, it was like being homesick. It was like, you know, like I should be happy, but why am I not happy? Like right. so that started to constantly question what is wrong with me what is wrong with me what is wrong with me and from that um, being in that emotional unhappiness inside my whole world started to crumble my health I lost like a ton of my hair like the doctor I went to the doctors I was in a lot of pain they diagnosed me with different autoimmune dis disorders or issues I went through all of that I tried to change my eating and they wanted to treat me medically and I didn't want to be treated medically like there was just right. something inside me like no like I'm not gonna accept that my hair isn't gonna grow back I didn't want to accept that I was gonna have to get a wig I didn't want to accept all those things and um, so depression kicked in anxiety kicked in I had anxiety at the wazoo like it right. was just miserable and um, so I started getting sessions for reflexology and energy work Gotcha. And it completely was like a whole different like, like what what is this like? And That's it was so, so funny because right. the first session she was like, oh, don't you love energy work? And I'm like, en sure. What is even energy work? Like, right. don't you feel that? I'm like, well, I feel something. But so after you start getting a taste of what that is like, it was like um, it kind of became. I hate to say this, but an, a form of an addiction. Like I just wanted to, like. Look well, more and more. Addiction. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, Laramie, my horse here, he started reflecting back as I was releasing that junk. So, like, so I was talking to my counselor and he said, Why don't you go and Google horse medicine? I was like, hmm. Horse medicine? I'm like, why? My horse doesn't need any medicine. Right. <laughs> like I was like, he's not the problem. I knew that much. It wasn't him that was the problem. It was something going on with me. And, but I did, and then that just opened up this whole amazing like information that I didn't even know existed. And really understanding that th these guys are just a mirror of ourselves. Wow. So that whole thing, so within, so without, right? So not only is he reflecting back what's in our energy field, he's reflecting back what's in our subconscious. So that's why I call him my master teacher. I've had a lot of teachers along the way. I have a lot of people who have helped and support me. I'm so grateful to. But the, the one person or one being that, that's my go-to is him. When now when we work together as a partner with someone else, I can, um, he communicates for me so I can help hold space. So he becomes the teacher. I just come like the space holder, the facilitator for him to do work. Hi, buddy. Right? And then he just does the work with them and I allow them to go within what they're getting, help them process. And sometimes we never even get out of the stall. I just, I worked with a client recently and the whole hour we were in the stall with him and it was just really about emotional release for her and um, needing needing to feel supported and in that process of letting go. Yeah, so um, so that's what, that's what my goal is too, is just to help people be the highest expression of themselves, whatever that looks like. If they just wanna come and meditate and hang out 
and be with him or go dive deep and do some some work um we do that like it lo and the thing is what i love about this work is i never know what it's going to be like like on my way here or to another barn if i'm working with someone i kind of get some downloads of what to expect or do this activity or do some grooming but i never know why and then i get to see it all unfold in front of me and it's always so much more beautiful or powerful than i can ever put it into words before going i'll travel pennsylvania maryland virginia new jersey even um, Delaware to work on <clears throat> different trainers and work with equestrians and their horses and then anyone who wants to come work and do anything that is not that does not have their horse or access to a horse they'll come here and work with Laramie um, or some of my clients just want just energy work and some of them went part energy work and part Laramie work. Um, I do teach workshops where you get to come and I only do small groups. It's no more than six and it becomes a very intimate sacred, sacred well, circle. Imagine, yes. Yeah, because there's just, and that just kind of gives you an idea what it's like. And, and it's really interesting because we can learn so much when we observe and be a witness to someone else um, going through something and then we can apply it to ourselves. So you do get one-on-one -on -one time with Laramie and go through different things, but it's, it's usually about six hours and it's, um, it just breaks things down and, and it's great for people who've never been around horses and they just want the experience to be around a horse and, and see what it's like and that kind of thing. But there has been some major you know, transformations just in those six hours, just like any athlete, there's horses that are really good at jumping and there's horses that are really good at doing rodeo work. There's horses that are really good at working ranch kind mm -hmm. of things. Um, and then there's a group that are really good about spiritual development or being master teachers. And um, from working with different horses for the past eight, 10 years, I can now walk in a barn and be like, oh, he'd be really good at this. Oh, really? this yeah. Like there's just something so, about their energy that just, yeah, I mean, they're very you... empathic. Can you feel like, like when when I get energy work from other people, mm -hmm. I, can, I can feel it, and it's mm -hmm. it's pretty crazy. It still surprises me every time it happens because it's it's still like, how is that really working? Right. <laughs> I mean, how, right. how on earth is that working? But anyway, so can you feel that same sort of process? Yeah. So if I'm working on an animal or if I'm working with a person, I can physically feel what's going in your body where and, you have pain. And what about? I mean, can you? Do they actually emanate that? energy work to, to you as well? Like if someone's giving me Reiki, I can feel it. Yeah. Him? Yeah. You, can you feel that coming off of him? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. It's not, it's at a different level um, than someone having their hands on you. Okay. Um, it, it just moves differently and it's really okay. hard to explain. Like to me, energy work is probably the hardest thing to put into human language as possible oh, yeah. you know yeah. it's really it's really about having the experience because every time you go every time I go and get worked on not only am I feeling something different but I'm having a different experience and um yeah. depending what's going on in my body so you know I just love it just because it feels good but mm -hmm. you know but when you know you're releasing something that's been there for a very long time it can be painful you know so right. um so so when when you're around Laramie and he might be doing work with you, everyone experiences that's different. Like mm. I have clients that um, just cry, you know what I mean? They just, they just need that space to just, and not be judged for just letting go of their emotions. And some of them just come and they just, they feel I have to help them ground before they leave because they'll just be like, I, I don't know what just happened. Like, I just feel completely different. Right. Um, so it's a, so a lot of the work that I find that he attracts people to is people who are new stepping into energy work. Gotcha. Um, so it's really about breaking it down and, and meeting them where they are and taking their time and that kind of thing. So I was going around just kind of getting work wherever I could get work just because mm -hmm. it's it's there's a lot of horse people who are very open to it and we're like oh yeah we love to help you know you know and a lot of them don't have a, 
any understanding of what's going on, but they still love it because they see their they see a response in their horse and they see a difference in their horse and they love it. But it's always what I find interesting when I go work on horses. It's like the horses get me there, but it's really to plant seeds with the people. So I'm there for the horse and help the horse and help them feel better and help them emotionally, mentally, physically. Mm -hmm. But it's always a reflection of something going on with their person. So it's always like, let me plant some seeds with, with their their person. And um, and it's and most of them kind of start like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And then they, they start diving deeper into this. So that has been a really cool experience to watch that happen. I think the biggest lesson, you know, we we came here to learn is self-love and to love ourselves and to be okay with ourselves and and in doing that then we can start really loving and accepting each other Um, because it's constantly just a reflection back to us so one of the most profound ways i've been able to find that in my life is with laramie is how to really truly love myself how to really accept who i am how to and then from that space be able to serve others so i think that's where i really went ahead with this program is to really build a community of people where they can have a safe place to come a safe place to be authentic a safe place to let their mask down like and be not i mean i mean like not the mask that we have to wear but like allow them (laughs) (laughs) allow them take the facade off yeah allow them just to let their hair down and just be and and explore that self of themselves and and see where it leads but and working with teenagers well, like I, I think, oh, yeah. that's a whole nother and i like my son's 17 and he comes and works with laramie all the time and his friends and they're all athletes so what they even learn here we transition into what how they can apply it onto the lacrosse field i was explaining to like it was three three or four lacrosse players just about energy in general mm-hmm. um and how that when we step on the field are we, are we stepping on in an ego space? Are we stepping on because we want our, you know, want our coaches to be proud of us and want, want the scoreboard to reflect of how we're doing? Or are you stepping on that field to be show up for yourself and show mm, up authentically and show fair. up and do your part, right? Are you hogging the ball? Are you feeling other people in your space? Like the connection of being able to um, really feel energetic, your team members or teammates, is profound knowing where they wow. are passing that kind of thing that is a really good are, message. yeah are we are we um, blaming others for for why I didn't catch that ball are we blaming others because you missed that pass like right. that kind of so teaching right. them that you can you can actually shift your own vibration your own energy help everyone else shift their own energy and vibration and start turning the whole game around it's never mm. too late right. so those are like the little things that we we apply to the sports field i get as much out of this as you know as laramie but i do it because i love it so you know kind of self-service in that fact is it's it's filling my own cup but right. there's nothing nothing that's more satisfying than than helping someone else mm-hmm. when they when i know where they've been i know what it's like to be in so much physical emotional mental pain and not knowing how to get myself out of that Right. And um, and if I can be a tenth or just a seed of a plant that can help them elevate and, you know, step in their power even or whatever process they need to have. And if I can be just a part of that, then then, yeah, that's so worth it. To someone who's never even heard of Reiki or heard of, you know, like animal communication and it's kind of really hard to put it in their box so that they can understand what it is so uh, i'm always like, just come out and hang out with the horse with me and let's go from there yeah yeah <laughs> you know what i mean let's just let's do it that way but um but yeah and this is not and it's really important none of this is on horseback i mean i do okay. work with people that that ride and i work with them in that way but none of what i do with horses is horseback gotcha so it's for anybody so um there's no there's no restrictions in the work just if you want to come and have an experience